Hi, my name is François Simon and with me today I have Oli Murto who will run the uh, live demo. You can use the chat box in the GoToWebinar panel and we will make room after the session for more questions to let you follow the presentation better. We expect this webinar to be somewhere in the range of 25 minutes. The webinar will be recorded and made available online later on. So let's get started. In today's webinar, we will introduce you to our Odoo integration to SolidWorks. The module has been productized so that a new integration can easily and quickly be deployed as it only requires configuration and no programming. We will show you how with two clicks only you can automate the BOM and item creation in Odoo from SolidWorks to speed up processes between engineering and manufacturing. Data quality and consistency are critical. When dealing with an integration, companies are often seek seeking to save time and money by automating BOM and item creation, but data consistency is as important as time and money savings. When it comes to ERP integration, our approach is that you should not perform the same task twice. Data are entered in SolidWorks and pushed automatically to Odoo. It only takes a couple of clicks to create bill of material and items in Odoo, whether your SolidWorks assembly consists of hundreds or thousands of parts. Our integration allows you to move your project faster from engineering to purchasing and production, turning days of manual works into minutes. Our solution eliminates error-prone manual processes and redundancies. On the long term, you should ensure and sustain data quality. Reduction in manual work is the key to higher data quality. Errors tend to grow like exponentially as assemblies are getting larger. And one key benefit of our integration is that we can guarantee that what you see in Odoo is what you have designed in SolidWorks. Even if we are integrated to the same ERP, integration are always different from one another. Our approach with ERP integration is to automate the way that you are currently working with your ERP, not the way that we would like you to work. In most of the case, features powered by our Odoo integration module covers most of your needs. If we are missing specific features, then we can easily add them to the module. Focus on design, automate the rest. So this is what Custom Tool is all about. So now I will let the comments to only to run the uh, live demo. Okay, thank you, Francois. And hello, this is Oli um, from the Custom Tools team. So um, I'm gonna show you a demonstration today how to um, use the integration or export in practice. So I'm working today with a uh, rather simple model of a tank in, in SolidWorks. Um, it's an assembly with uh, a couple of sub-assemblies, uh, multi-level. Uh, it's quite perfect for demonstration purposes. Um, so we're going to actually export this whole product model um, to Odoo. And so firstly, I'm going to, there are probably people on the line who are not familiar with custom tools yet. So um, custom tools is an add-in that works directly in SolidWorks. That means I have the add-in, the 2019 version of the add-in um, enabled here in SolidWorks. Uh, and as it is an add-in in SolidWorks, that means that we can perform all of the export and integration actions straight in CAD, which also saves you obviously a lot of time and simplifies your routines. So I'm going to briefly show you the options um, that control how the um, export performs. Firstly, we define here the connection to our Odoo instance. So for the purposes of this webinar, we have created a, a free instance of, of Odoo on the cloud. Um, as Odoo uses the same API for on-premises installations as well, 
we also support um, Odoo ERP systems, which you might have installed in your premises as opposed to using the Odoo cloud. Um, I'm just going to test the connection here to make sure that we can run the demo without um, problems. As you can see, this is successful. So we have a connection enabled to the Odoo cloud on the internet and our specific database. Um, about custom tools. So custom tools has basically a, a data model of its own, which is stored in a SQL database um, in the background. Um, and what we have defined is a, a data model, model with several additional properties to your, um, let's say, standard custom um, SolidWorks um, properties. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm not gonna go through this now to save some time, but we're just gonna use a couple of fields, namely the revision and description one fields in, in CAD, which we are going to map to specific fields, fields in the Odoo ERP manufacturing module actually. So this is the data model. Um, next, as in all of the um, custom tools exports, we have an export profile defined, which actually tells our integration what is the specific data that we want to export from CAD. Um, we support here both uh, the standard SOLIDWORKS properties as well as custom custom tools attributes. As I mentioned, we are using these two custom attributes in the demo today. Um, additional useful feature here is actually that we can define a, a set of, of um, validation rules for controlling that our, our data is kept, being kept consistent um, before we actually export it into external systems. So we can define, for example, a maximum length for uh, specific fields before we push them to external systems. And we can make certain fields compulsory. So we make sure that, uh, for example, designers uh, fill them in before they perform exports to uh, Odoo Air or any other external systems. So that's the export profile. And lastly, we have some um, specific settings to the integration itself. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Uh, what I wanted to show you is that we can control, for example, with this flag is whether we only create new products we create in CAD. Um, so unless we click this, we're only gonna, gonna export to auto any, any new items we have in CAD. Uh, and if we select this, we actually will then update also products that we have um, previously exported in, in Odoo. But what might be most useful here is, is using, um, let's say a lightweight revision control. So, so we can on, also decide that uh, we only export product data, CAD data to ERP uh, whenever we have actually revised an item in CAD. So if there has been significant changes that have created a new revision of the item. So that's it with the options briefly. Um, going shortly back to the um, custom tools data model. So, so this is the way we have, uh, we use custom tools to actually um, define custom properties within CAD. And like I said, we're going to use uh, two fields here today, the revision and then the description of the actual items, which we're going to export in, into Odo. But this is how you, how you use custom tools to actually fill in and maintain, maintain the data in CAD. All right. Um, so what, what I'm going to show firstly is that is how to um, basically export the full product structure into Odoo. Um, but before I do that, I'm actually going to show you the Odoo instance. So let's check here again 
from the connection settings. This was the instance we are connecting to. So if I open my web browser, it's actually open here already. This is the instance on the cloud we are connecting to, and we are using the manufacturing module here with the custom tools Odoo export. And as we can see, if when we browse the master data here, we don't have any products here. So this is a completely new and empty database without any data, no products, no bill, bill of materials. So our first task is to fill in our Odoo system with initial data. Uh, for doing that with custom tools, we first go back to SolidWorks. We select the top level assembly. We can either right click here and select export or we can use the custom tools taskbar for that. Okay, I'm just going to save that before export. Um, what the integration prompts us first to do is a comparison. So, so this means it's going to compare our CAD data with, with data that already exists in the selected Odoo ERP instance. I'm going to skip that for now because as we noticed, we have a empty database, so it doesn't make any, say, make any sense doing any comparisons. Um, here we can see the standard custom tools export preview window, where we can actually see that, yes, we are actually importing the whole product structure with specific sub-assemblies and, and, and the items, parts in them. Then we can also see here the um, metadata, the properties we defined in our export profile, they're all being read properly and filled in, looks good. Uh, one last thing to point out here, we have some sub-assemblies here with quantity zero. Uh, we're actually not gonna export them to Odoo, so the system will automatically skip them. Um, so firstly, I'm going to export the whole product structure to our selected instance. Just gonna click on export here. Uh, for this size of product structure, it's only going to take, let's say, a couple of seconds. So, so the process update, uh, the process obviously depends a little bit of of your product structure, how how big it is, how many items you have. But in general, it performs quite well. And you can obviously also perform an export on on single sub assemblies or even single items if you wish to save time be more efficient. Okay, now it's telling us uh, the export is complete. So I'll jump back in to my web browser, the same Odoo instance. When I click on products again, I can see I have a bunch of, of items here. Uh, I know this is my top level assembly of the model I have in uh, SolidWorks. So I can see uh, it has created this assembly item with the preview image. And you can actually he see here, these are the fields or these are the properties that I have mapped from um, custom tools from SOLIDWORKS CAD to Odoo. Uh, now we're only using here the um, free version of Odoo. So I don't have any control in this version over the actual data model in Odoo. So I cannot create any custom fields here. So that's why I'm only using for demo purposes what's available here. So I'm placing the revision code in, in a field called internal reference and uh, the description was the other field I mapped. I'm placing it under internal notes. And uh, as the title is the name of the item I'm using, using um, I can actually check it here. If I go back to SolidWorks and check my mapping again from the options, I'm using uh, part number as the name in Odoo. And like I said, revision as default code description as description in Odoo. Okay. Uh, important thing to notice, this doesn't only import, uh, sorry, export um, uh, individual items into Odoo, we actually copy the full product structure as well. So you can open here, for example, from the top level assembly, you can see that a bill of material has been created with proper quantities and the sub assemblies that were connected in CAD. 
now we can see actually here we had some items with quantity zero they are actually not exported here at all uh, and I can go here and basically just navigate the product structure as I could in 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 CAD. I can I can navigate both ways as you can see downwards and upwards in the structure. All right. So this was how you explain initially your product structure to Odoo. Uh, now the second thing I'm going to demonstrate is when you do uh, any changes in your CAD data, how are you going to um, actually um, export or, or communicate those changes to Odoo. So for the sake of demo, oh, let's, let's look at the export actually first. So now remember we have already data in Odoo. Last time I skipped the comparison, now if I perform it, it actually is going to perform a uh, row by row comparison of the bill of material um, uh, from CAD against the Odoo manufacturing bill of material. Um, we're using specific color coding here to indicate what needs to be updated, what is already up to date between CAD and ERP. So as you can see here, we have some lines highlighted as yellow. These are the ones I explained that have quantity zeros, although it's actually were not even intended to be exported into Odoo, so they are skipped, but it's indicated here. Uh, the rest of the lines are green, meaning they're up to date between CAD and ERP, so there's no changes. If you would perform an export now, it would actually not do anything, because there are no, no changes to be done. Uh, so, for the sake of demo, let's perform a small and rather silly uh, design change in our product. So I'm just going to open one of the sub assemblies here, the Manway assembly, and I'm going to do a simple and uh, simple change here. I'm just going to sketch here. Going to create a sketch and then just do a rather simple cut here through all surfaces basically like this. So now we can see that our model has been changed or the sub assembly. So I'm going to save that. And I can see I have the design change visible now in my main product as well. Now I want to bring this design change to Odoo for my manufacturing um, department as well. So what I what I do now then again I can actually export the whole structure again or as I know the change is only being performed in one specific sub-assembly I'm actually going to select that specific sub-assembly and now perform a comparison because I know there's design changes. But the integration is actually showing us that there's nothing to update. Why is this? It's because of the rules we defined. So actually what we defined in options previously is that we're using revision control. So as our revision is not changed, you can actually see from the preview image that our design has changed, but as we don't have a new revision, we don't have any changes to actually communicate or export to ERP. So what I'm going to do here so again, um, this is, well, only simulation, simulating how revisions would work, but going here and just incrementing revision and maybe our description has also changed like this. So, oops, F. so we used to have revision E, now we have revision F. Um, so obviously in your case, you probably if you're using revisions like this, you might get them from PDM or, or wherever. Uh, but if you issue an engineering change note or, or however your process is. But um, for the sake of demo, now I revised that single sub assembly where I did the design changed change. So what I'm basically now going to do, I'm going to try and export the whole, save it, going to try and export the whole product again and see 
what our comparison shows us this time. Okay, so now you can see we have some different coloring already. So if we scroll down to that specific sub assembly, we can now see that uh, what's been updated in CAD is highlighted in this export preview window in red, meaning revision has changed. And as you can see, the preview image has changed. So now if I click on export, it's going to update only the affected items in my product structure. That went through rather fast as it didn't export everything. And now when I go here, this was the sub assembly where we had the change. Now you can see this is the revision E with the old design. Now when I refresh the page, now we can see the design change here. The revision has been incremented and also I changed the description for demo purposes. So this is um, a basic way of how, how to actually communicate changes to uh, ERP for, let's say, manufacturing purposes. All right. Um, so this was basically the demo for today. Rather simple, but basically showing you the specific aspects how we export product structures from straight from CAD to ERP uh, with a simple revision control. Um, what I didn't show you is that we also have means of uh, scripting, uh, let's say, more complex business logic to support your business processes here. If you have, for example, some, some more complicated revisioning logic. Uh, additionally, we also have means to um, transfer, uh, let's say, PDF attachments such as drawings or other other PDFs you might have attached to your product structure, so you can actually also transfer those among with the metadata, the product structure to, to ERP. All right. With that being said, uh, I'm gonna give back to Francois. So he's going to explain briefly about a customer who is already benefiting from this solution. Thank you. Thank you, Oli. So we get back to the presentation. Yes. Yeah, so as Oli mentioned, we have like uh, one company called uh, RCI Engineering. So we can, we have like a case study available on our uh, own website. And I really recommend you to check like how they are like benefiting from the, uh, uh, from, from the integration that they have between uh, Odoo and, and SolidWorks. And they are also using uh, SolidWorks PDM. The main objective for ARCI was to automate their current processes and to quickly, uh, so that they would be able to quickly move through their purchasing and planning uh, processes. The case study is available on our website and I will send you also uh, a link to that blog article once we send you the uh, recording so I can show you uh, quickly. So if I go here, we have here the uh, on, on the blog so you can I can show you where you can find the uh, the blog so here we have on our website uh, the blog and then we have also here the uh, case study regarding like RCI engineering so you can see like how they have been using the uh, integration and we also have like uh, a video that you can check up so it's uh, I would say it's quite advanced what we have made there so I would really recommend you to to check it out Okay, that is all what we had to show you today. So for our next webinar, we'll present a feature enhancement introduced in QSAM Tools 2020 SP1. The webinar will take place on the 20th of uh, February, same time as today. We are now open for questions when the recording is stopped. But first, uh, we would like to thank you all for attending the webinar and we hope to see you next time. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.